focused cardiac ultrasound has a number of uses for the nephrologist. We can assess volume status, looking at the IVC as well as other parameters. We can get a global assessment of left ventricular and right ventricular function, as well as assess for pleural and pericardial effusions. We'll start with the parasternal long axis view. This image is obtained parasternally with the probe indicator facing the left hip in the second through fourth intercostal spaces. This view allows us to assess the right ventricle, interventricular septum, left ventricle, aortic outflow tract, aortic root, left atrium, mitral valve, pericardium, and descending aorta. Left ventricular ejection fraction can be estimated by how closely the anterior leaflet of the mitral valve approximates the interventricular septum. Pericardial effusions can be visualized anteriorly as well as posteriorly to the heart, anterior to the descending aorta. From here, we rotate the probe 90 degrees facing the patient's right hip to the parasternal short axis view. This is a transverse cut uh, through the left ventricle and the right ventricle at the level of the papillary muscles. Left, ventricle, left ventricular ejection fraction is best assessed here. And right ventricular volume overload, pressure and volume overload, can be assessed by visualizing the interventricular septum. From here, we move to the apical four chamber view. This is best visualized at the apical impulse, just below the nipple. In this view, we can get visual comparisons of the left ventricle and right ventricle. The right ventricle should be the same size or smaller than the left ventricle. We can also approximate right ventricular function by assessing how far the tricuspid plane annulus moves with systole. From here, we move the probe just below the sternum at the xiphoid process to obtain the sub-xiphoid view of the heart. This is an excellent view for overall structure and function of the heart and is a good view to visualize pericardial effusions. From here, we rotate the probe 90 degrees to obtain a longitudinal view of the inferior vena cava, or IVC. Take a breath. To positively identify the inferior vena cava, find hepatic veins draining into the inferior ven vena cava, and find where the inferior vena cava empties into the right atrium. In this patient, the inferior vena cava is diminutive in size and collapses more than 50% with inspiration, suggestive of volume depletion. This has been an introduction for focused cardiac ultrasound for the nephrologist. We learned the basic windows uh, for performing echocardiography, as well as uh, how to measure the, uh, the inferior vena cava.